Hello everyone, I'm the Ultimate Water and Overlord and welcome back to Princess of Angel. Got my black current squash here, and yeah, let's just get right back into the main storyline of Princess of Angel. Huh? I realized why it seemed odd about the paper. One, two, three, four, five? There's an extra circle on it. When had that gotten there? And who put it there? There was someone in final course, so it couldn't be Konomi chan. Yeah. Maybe I can look it up on the school network. I'll try it to I'll try it tomorrow. Saturday, 27th. Day, evening star gathering. Cool. It's the day. It was the final Saturday of the summer vacation and a sense of restlessness ran through the dorms. They had all been waiting for this day. And then, night came. The bell rang to signal the start of the event and I left my room. I hadn't seen the hall so crowded in quite some time. The atmosphere was high of expectation. Yeah, crowded. These bells. Oh my god. Calm down. We good? Thank you. Very crowded. <laughs> Blankets were spread out uh, over the ground at regular intervals. The summer events were all handled by the associations, so I had to. Ha I ha so I had helped out during. I had helped out earlier. Uh, earlier that event that evening, English. We'd been we'd been unusually quiet as we worked. Quiet as we worked. Maybe that had been intentional. I don't know. Maybe it's because you're working. I don't know. I lay down in my own spot. It was more comfor comfortable than I had expected. This word, I can never say it. The night sky was bright and beautiful, probably due to the lack of artificial lightning. You couldn't, you couldn't see a sky like this in the city. Probably not, I don't know, maybe you could. Talking together while looking up, this, uh, looking up at this sky? That doesn't sound bad at all, no. Ah, cool, Sister Mishima. You go, girl. You describe them constellations. The Milky Way. Good. The River of Stars? Very girl. That sounds, that sounds better, yeah, River of Stars, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's quite amusing, yeah, Milky Way. Or the fucking Shining River. Okay, we're actually learning stuff. I have fucking no idea. They're all bright. Nah, not really. Okay, girl. Sister Mishima finished her explanation and took her leave. That was quick. Then, as if, if, and then, as if they had been waiting for this moment, the students began to move. No offense to Sister Mishima, but this was the true main event. Yeah, sorry, Sister Mishima. Okay. So, where am I going to go? Well, we have to go Rise because we can't go Ruriko, right? Yep, we got the four main girls. We're going to Rise. Should probably throw down a save, which is what I haven't been doing. When we get to these choice, and choice parts, I should really be doing that. Um, um, good evening. <laughs> Rise is like, oh my god, Messiah. Oh my god, he actually chose me. Oh, I'm so horny. Hello, babe. Well, no, I just chose you throughout the whole game and breaking the fourth wall, so I have to choose you now, or else we'll get a bad ending. 
I think Miss Sister Mishima explained the constellations just fine. I just thought we might talk a little. Oh, look at that lewd face. She fucking loves it. Is it okay if I sit down? On your lap. I sat down next to Lisa-san. It occurred to me that this was my first time sitting next to her without a chair. What what a fucking interesting thought, Messiah. You're fucking mental. Because of that, she seemed a lot closer and I could feel my heart pounding in my chest. You know what that means. Let's fuck her pussy. Yeah. I didn't have to ask what she meant by again. She meant, that, she meant the time we walked back from the camp together. I'd invited her then, too. And today, once again, I was at her side. It's possible that she had sensed with uh, sense what that meant. <laughs> right, well, let's go back and fuck. What? What is it? <laughs> and Ash, Masai, she's just happy that she won. Lisa Sam placed her hands on the ground behind her and looked up at the night sky. The starlight was bright enough that I could see my surroundings fairly easily. There were a few other couples around us lying close together. Lesbians, joking. But I was too self-conscious for that. It seemed a little odd to lie down next to each other. Oh, come on, Messiah. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't seem to be the only one who thought so, either. I could see a lot of people sitting up. Yeah, I guess it's nice to look at the night sky for once. That's what I said, girl. Yeah. It's you, babe. Isn't it? Risa-san turned to me and smiled. I'll be doing you tonight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, that face is so fucking beautiful, cute. Look at it. Oh, it's amazing. Huh? What, what happened? Oh, yes. I uh, proved my um, male strengths and destroyed the fucking bamboo building. Huh? But that ended up as a tie, didn't it? Well, if I could, I'd say yours, but I'm pretty sure we're going to say neither, because Messiah's a fucking dickhead. Huh? Or he's just going to say his usual, huh? Or what? Or right? Oh, obviously, the one that you made, Reese's hand. Oh, he actually fucking said it. Well done, Messiah. Give him a round of applause, everyone. He's a man. He's a legend. I honestly couldn't tell the difference, but I can't tell it now. I knew, I knew that it was, I knew that... English. I knew that was what he was thinking. Yes, words, help me. I accidentally clicked. I'm an idiot. Ah! Well, it's because besides a fucking boss. Vincenes had a lot of traditions, and it seemed like the Naga Nagashi... I can't say the word. Nagashi Soman party was no exception. Well, I guess guys tend to be better at that kind of do-it-yourself work. Roasted. But if that happens, that means loads of boys will go to the school and steal my girls. What the fuck will I do then? You know? Yes, I will. Just points at his dick like, this is the most valuable asset. I hope you're right. Risa Sam placed her hand over mine. Oh, we're getting a bit sexual now. No fucking hand holding. Oh god. Boner intensifies. Yeah, if you keep holding my hand, I'm gonna fucking whoop. My mouth had gone a little dry, so I couldn't answer her right away. Well, I'd really like to help you, because I want this too. A lot. I want to stay at Vincennes until I graduate. And then we can have we can go marry Ruko, so bye bye Rise. Yeah. 
Yeah, you kind of sound like a prostitute, really. Yeah. What? Oh. I thought she was like, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dum dum. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Masai was the right person because we've met before. Oh yeah, that only makes logical sense, yeah. What? I've never heard that one before. Yeah. You met a legend in Messiah who... Well, you're gonna fuck all the girls. Really? No, I'm, I'm not surprised. Messiah might be surprised. Yeah, to be honest, I am. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I am. You seem you seem like an, such a confident person, Risa-san. I mean, it was only the Guardian. It wasn't like fucking like some rapists. Ah, fair enough, yeah. Pretty good. Cool. Good, good one, girl. And I was the right one. Risa san had explained things very s s but Quentin I can't say words during dinner and then on the walk to the school. But deep down, she must have felt so desperate to see it through. Your period for serving as a mission ambassador had expired, right? And you'd, and you'd lost confidence. Risa san spoke as if the cut off my train of thought. Oh yeah, imagine if you brought me to this school. I'm joking, I'd probably be pretty much exactly the same as Messiah. Maybe a bit more pervy than him. But he's quite pervy. I don't know. Risa san turned towards me with a, sh a shy smile and he said, Rai. I'd never seen her smile that way before. Aww. When, when are we going to say it? I'm your Chien, babe. Risa san fell into, thought, into thoughtful silence for a few seconds and spoke. <laughs> oh, how she figured out? It was destiny. It's like a destiny. Des destiny. Destinied rendezvous. Word. Words. The first time she said that to me, I, I had thought it was just a figure of speech. It didn't seem to have any special meaning to Risa san either. But now. <laughs> what? Has she still not figured out that I'm Chien? <laughs> oh, don't worry, girl. It's fucking destiny. I was, I was supposed to say, oh, oh but oh well. Ah, no, you, you go ahead, Risa san. Yes, what do you want to do tomorrow? Yeah? Fuck no! I'm joking. Of course we'll go with you. But if we could go with Ruriko, I would definitely. I'm sorry, Riso, but I'm guessing we're going with you. Oh, I'm sorry, Riso. It's just Messiah's so fucking indecisive. 
Oh, no, no. That's not it. I've hem... The Hemptley shook my head multiple times. These words, stop it. Just keep the simple words. I don't need these long words. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll definitely go. Oh, who said this was a date? I'm joking. It's a fucking date. Let's go. It's a date. Um, you're the one who said it, Risa san When, when did you become so fucking Sundere? Right. Yeah, I think it would be nice if we um, go out, if you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. Yes. I hear you, but I think I'll, I'd like a date even better, you know? Whoa! Just fucking goes in there like, yeah, I hear you, but I want a date, girl. <laughs> oh god, fucking hell, Baldy Messiah. Oh my god! Baka. One more time. <laughs> You're not Chiho. You can't call me Baka. But I realized that my voice had turned very serious. Where is the summer festival? Nah. Nah, we're not going back to that place. You can't make me. I will not go back. Yeah. yeah um. I, I know of it. I, I wasn't, you know, in it. Oh. What happened to the Mitsurugi, sh Mitsurugi Shrine? Butchered that word. I remember it was being I remember it being consumed by by the flames. So there's no way the building was still there. Oh. Whoa! Good, we're going to the other shrine. <laughs> Fuck that shrine, we'll go to the better shrine. Oh, I see. The next town over. As I expected, it sounded like the Mitsurugi sh <sighs> shrine wasn't holding summer festivals anymore. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh no, it's, it'd, it'd be cool. Let's go, girl. Of course not. Yeah, and I know, I know what happened on your fucking last one. You were the boy who got stabbed, and it might be me. How does she not remember? Yeah, me, me, me too. Somehow or other, I had lost interest in summer festivals. Now I knew the reason why. <laughs> yeah, you got fucking stabbed, and we're nearly engulfed by fire. I love Ruriko. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I thought for a moment, then shook my head. Ah, oh, you fucking dickhead. No, it was nothing. Risa San nodded lightly. Tomorrow, I'll tell her at the festival. Fair enough. Oh, I really want to, but Masai is such a little dick. Huh? <laughs> Why <laughs> every time he's fucking catchphrases right or huh? I looked around and saw that there were very, there were far few far fewer people still sitting up. Y yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do it. I slowly leaned back. I looked to my side and saw Risa San smiling back at me. It's just so fucking cute. It was a strange feeling, just as I I'd expected. But strange didn't necessarily mean bad, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's do it, girl. Yeah. Below the sky full of s below that sky full of stars. Below that sky full of stars, we lay so close that we could reach out and touch one another. I butchered that. I feel. I felt like our hearts had grown closer too. And that is the end of chapter 16. So we're going into chapter 17. Which is... The Summer Festival Night. But yes, that's where I'm going to be ending this episode. But we're on the 28th today, Sunday, August. Cool. 
But yes, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Princess of Angel, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Princess of Angel, or just in another video in general. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you really want to. And once again, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.